our journey with this community began in 2011. And just a quick show of hands, who here has been in a cohort with somebody from Slalom or connected to someone from Slalom? Look at that, almost the whole room. Uh, well, for those that don't know, quick context, Slalom, you know, we're a global company, organically grown, we're operating in eight countries, we're $3 billion. We operate at the center of business and technology and humanity. We're working with many of you. I'm gonna share uh, more about our journey with continuous leadership and, and integral leadership, and I'm gonna do it in the concept of S-curves. Now, Rick Boren, if you've been through the ALP, does a beautiful job teaching about this concept. It goes like this. We've all experienced curves where we go through growth and maturity and experience the plateau. And the concept of surfing curves is seeing that opportunity, having that awareness and choice where you have breakthroughs and create new opportunity for growth. So at Slalom, I'm going to talk to you about our journey through two curves. The first one really represents our first decade with this community. In our origin story in 2011, uh, our co-founder, John Tobin, whose brother, brother-in-law is Mike Maddock, uh, was introduced to Rand because he was interested in bringing more leadership development into Psalm. And as the story goes, John wanted to send a couple people, and Rand challenged him and said, no, John, you need to go first. And John accepted that challenge. And I'm so glad he did. Through that, John brought back so much. Now, over the course of this period, John began a tradition of sending our most senior leaders to the ILP in Dallas. Done 69 over that period of time. As the kind of orange entrepreneurial mindset, achiever mindset organization that we are, we created a lot of programs ourselves. Think of like the FLC and FLP before those existed. And we put many people through those foundational programs then adopted those as they came along, 1,700 in total over this time. Super impressive. And we had tremendous results in our business over this period. We've grown 30% during this time annually, compounded in our business. From a people perspective, we've gone from 1,000 people to 10,000 people. And we, we went from being U.S.-based and U.S. markets to opening up our first international markets, expanding into Canada and other countries. And there's some really cool things that happened during this time that were no coincidence. We codified our core values, things like take ownership and get it done, inspire passion and adventure, drive connection and teamwork. And we got clear on purpose. Today we talk about our purpose as to help organizations dream bigger, move faster, build better tomorrows for all. I started at Solemn in 2006 and have grown up as a leader in this organization. And in 2019, I got the opportunity to go to the ILP with Stegen in Dallas. And didn't know quite what to expect. What was I going to learn there? I've been soaking in these principles for a while, and I was blown away. Went so deep around my own core values and guiding principles and meaning and purpose. That's not something I experienced before, and, and that, was, that was available inside of Psalm. Helped me understand my purpose to experience growth and joy with others. And as I did this and I started looking, I was like so inspired, like how do I connect that and how do I bring that back to Psalm in a big way? So as I did that, I started to see some things that I don't think I really saw before at our company. Some of the things I saw was like, I did see now, I saw like an organization that was so steeped in those foundational principles, but I think there were so many people kind of like myself that were like ready for more. And I'm sure we're not alone as I've talked to other, other member companies today and kind of where you are in that too. I saw that like we had expanded our purpose and it's, 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 it's great and it's grand and it's impactful. And like, we need more visionary leaders that are going to be able to help us live into that and achieve that. Like, there's a scarcity thing. The idea of sending a couple people, a few people to Dallas every, every year, like, that's just not going to go fast enough. That's just not going to scale that. We, can, we need to do more 
You know, this was happening during the pandemic, and we had like, frankly, we lost steam in some of these programs as well. Um, and we were facing like, how do we do this globally? Again, how can we do something globally? So what do you do when you're in kind of a situation? You go for help, you talk for help. And I started talking to Stegen about this. People like Rand and Rick, Jay, so instrumental, wanted to co-create a program. Started with, I want to co-create a leadership academy. I want to take parts from that ILP, like that meaning module, like that work around vision. And I want to stitch it together with some things that are really relevant to slalom and our customers, our, our past, our present, where we're going. Uh, can tie some of those people who have been so instrumental before to that. Can we stitch and create this program together? And we started doing that, and it was a lot of fun. And I got challenged by my peers at Slalom. They were like, Joel, think bigger. It's not just one program. It can't be a, just about one set. It has to be bigger than that. It has to be more inclusive for all levels. And so really with that, our concept of Build You was born. Build You is our platform for accelerating your potential, which covers the dimensions of self, of your craft, of, of building the business. And it, it's inclusive of programs and experiments and lots of concepts. That was the vision, that was great. So now I just needed help in how we're gonna bring that to life. So I went to this ecosystem again. Ian Cook introduced me to Raf Vuitton. Many of you know Raf. Raf has been working around this ecosystem for some time. He was started with Mike Maddock, Maddock Douglas, working as an innovation consultancy in Chicago. He went to the ILP, 2007, I believe. And, uh, and from there, you know, he's become a part of the Stegen community. And he has taught many cohorts and many of you along the way. And so uh, a couple years ago, two years ago, I uh, invited Raf to join us full time to help bring Build You to life at Slalom. And he joined and he said yes. So Raf, come on up, share what we've been doing. Thanks, buddy. All right, Joel uh, is indeed my buddy and he's my boss. I report directly to Joel and the team of GMs that run a significant part of the $3 billion. They're responsible for the business. Now, it's a, an important detail that was, I was reminded of yesterday in the expo when we were talking to a number of the member companies about how important that is. I'll tell you why I think it's important. First off, it shows that the Stegen partnership and this Build You vision is directly tied to the business. Secondly, when it's tied to the business at that senior level, everybody at that senior level at Slalom is a Stegen alumni. So they're all integral leadership practitioners already. They're all big believers in the business value of having more human beings at higher stages of development, higher levels of mental complexity, higher levels of mental maturity. So they already believe in the business value. They just want help making it more real, more often, more places around the globe. Oh, and they want it not just at scale, but they want it sooner, not later. So there's urgency there. And there's urgency there, not just because we have backlog, but because we all are facing huge challenges. We all have really big ambitions. We got those two things going for us, which are making us say, let's get to it. And when we have that contingency of leaders already believing it, we waste very little time trying to persuade anybody about the business value of investing time, money, and emotion in this kind of work. So, we get right to the rat killing right away. You know what I mean, right? We get right into the work. And that's a, that's a big, that's really important. So let's see what some of the work looks like the last few years of experiments, some of which are absolutely carryovers from the last decade. And we're gonna show you in this rendering here the idea of how our build you stack sits on top of the stake and development stack. So the carryovers certainly include the Stegen ILP and the ALP. Those are constants. And we've got what Joel was talking about, which is the Build You Leadership Academy. So we call it BULA for short, so the acronym BULA. So we've got um, think semi-custom ILP. Think 52 weeks, intense practices, teleclasses, rhythms, 
portal, the whole thing. 70, 80% of the content is exact, almost exactly the same, and then we infuse 30, 40% of the slalom specific business context with the business leaders. And I'm talking business context all the way back the first two decades of slalom. So everybody going through that program understands how did we get here to this present moment? So past all the way to present, and then there's the literal, literal passing of the baton from the founders of the company, the presidents of the different countries in this cohort saying, you're the leaders that are gonna design the next 10 years of this company. You're the leaders that have to co-create and figure this out together. You need to become the kind of leaders that can do that. So that's, we, that's how we get into um, experiencing that experiment for now. And we're about five, or, five cohorts in. And I think a, a beautiful part of that, I don't know if Rand knows this yet or not, Rick Voren certainly knows it, and the team that's working with us here, Michelle, Leanne, John, Karen out in the UK, um, we've built into the last six months when we talk about how we got here and where we're going, it's how do we leverage the courageous culture platform that Slalom has across the globe, how do we leverage that and by giving the leaders visibility into how does culture really work in an organizational system. So they're getting a systems view of all this at play. It's pretty powerful. And of course, the alumni who go through Beulah wind up being part of the next level delivery teams. They wind up people who are painted forward and all the foundational programs, all the slalom core courses, et cetera. And there's this one piece. This is kind of like the most, one of the most exciting asymmetrical return on the investment that this takes. My next release is this simple little tool that's about to be infused with some AI that makes it even simpler and easier to engage with. Simple tool, inviting every human being in the slalom community, early career on, into, invites them into a conversation about, hey, what are you up to in the, in the world? What do you care about? What matters most to you right now? What are you interested in learning? How can this $3 billion platform serve you? Flipping the whole conversation. It's amazing, just getting people into the conversation. The whole guided protocol, it's beautiful. So lots of impact going there in the, in the, in the stack so far. But we're early in, we're two years in. I'm gonna share with you, kind of from a high level perspective, what we think we're learning two years into this 10 years of the experiment so far. And we're trying to stay really focused on these three things. I think these are worth writing down, that's why we put them on slides. Uh, first one is, it's not about the content or the curriculum. Love you, Rand. It's not about the content or the curriculum. And Rand's telling us now, it's not about the content or the curriculum. It's about the container of care, the specificity of relationship, the quality of relationship that can hold all the ambitions of every human being in the ecosystem. And we learned it from you, Rand, of course. So we're trying to stay really focused on that. Not the content, but the quality of care. Trying to stay focused on this idea that it's not about the number of seats, the number of diplomas, the completion rates that go through the leadership program. Of course we care about the completion rates, but we care about each other more. We care about the quality of the capabilities that we're strengthening when folks are going through it. We care about the consistency of delivered practice. Where's my Morrison friends and all my fellow cohorts? What do we talk about every week? Are you getting your reps in? We're talking about building momentum, not just in the programs, but the kind of momentum that propels us into a lifestyle of practice for the next 10 years after the program. We're trying to stay focused on that. And then lastly, we love these leadership programs, but it's not about identifying our company or our brand with these programs. It's about building the systems of the leadership. It's about staying focused on the standards of leadership all across the system at all levels in the system. We're trying to stay grounded in that kind of brain space as we're working on it. Because we're building the collective brain power at Solemn and within the whole ecosystem. So that's, that's what we're learning. That's what we think we're learning right now. And I, Joel, close us out here with the rest of it. Sounds good. I get to work with this guy all the time. So much fun. We're having so much fun over the last couple years. Uh, and you know, one of the ways I know that we're onto something is if your kids think it's cool. 
So this is a picture of my son Cameron. We share lots of car rides as I drive him to school. He's driving now, but I was driving to high school at the time. And you know, once in a while, he's usually quiet. But once in a while, you know, he's talking and we talk about what we're up to. And I, I tell him, oh, I'm, I'm, I think I got this idea. We're doing this thing around Build You. And one day he was like, that's pretty cool, Dad. I would rep that. Like, I, do you have any swag? Can I? <laughs> oh. This is Cameron in his Build You shirt. Thank you, Cameron. Uh, so two years in to this S-curve, a decade of work, more, uh, but making good progress. So doing lots of cool things. That my next release, I think it's, it's really cool, especially for the engineering community and that concept. Uh, the Leadership Academy, kind of our flagship, definitely doing great stuff there. The last two years, we've put 100 people through this program, kind of shoulder to shoulder, side by side, working with Stegen. And the cool part about this is the people, like pictures you see on the slide, not just North America, got people from Australia, Japan, Europe. So we're really starting to figure out how to do this at a scale. And like, why does it matter? Gosh, it is like so important in this time. We're experiencing such a time of change right now uh, in, in business and challenge in business. I'm sure many are feeling it. There's challenges in the economy and uncertainty ahead. And companies need breakthroughs and they need it faster. They need value faster. And technology is being disrupted with generative AI and we're looking at new ways of working that are gonna change all of us. And we're in the middle of that and slalom is in the process of defining what we're calling generation five of our company. Tons of change that we're going through right now and a lot of opportunity. And in the last two years, we've put 100 new leaders into this system that are able to think bigger with bigger aperture with vision that are gonna help lead us forward. So I think about like year two, going to 10, this curve, what are gonna be some other hallmarks and moments in this curve? And I think that uh, I can't help but think about this room, being here today, this community, and what I think are gonna be even other shifts that we're gonna see. Because when I look at what's happening, and I'm doing great work and great partnership, but primarily that right now, that's been with Slalom and Stegen. And I know so many other people are doing so many cool things with Stegen. And so I really think that the big opportunity that we have in the years coming forward is to create a picture that looks more like this. And the cool part about it is I know that some of our teams are already working together, building software products and implementing technology where I, like we're in the work together, but I don't know that we're in the leadership development work together like we could be, bringing that to more of our teams, co-creating and designing and sharing with each other on more of these systems and platforms, I think that that is where we're going. I want to go there with you. So Raph, maybe come on up as we're getting ready to close. I think one of the things I really want to express is I want everyone to feel a formal invitation to you all from both of us to build you. And I have a specific request. We've got 12,000 people across the globe that haven't met you all yet. And in the spirit of mushing the ecosystem together sooner, I would like to capture a video of you all that I can show to all of them. Are you guys game for that? All right. Here's, here's the request. So I, we do probably have to practice this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, or Joel's going to say, hey, slalom, while I'm filming him, facing this way, and then you all say, let's build you. Can you do that? Joel's going to say, hey, slalom, you say, Let's build you. And if you want to point to the stage, that'd be pretty cool. Use your arms to point to the stage. I'm going to do it. Oh. Do it. Okay. So I'm pointing. And we're here. Okay. Okay. You, go, you say, hey, Slalom. Hey, Slalom. Let's build you. That's nice. Thank you. Big round of applause for Thank these guys. You, Thank All you. right. Thank you. Thank you.